Pops Cartel, Popcorn, snubbed at the 2021 Grammys. Viewers and subscribers, nominee for the best reggae album is Bojo Bantan, Maxi Priest, Skip Marley, Toots and the Matos, and the Whalers. Anyways, we know that Bob Marley died in 1981, Zin. So that's approximately 20 years before Bob Marley won his first Grammy in 2001. You can do your research. But we know Vibes Cartel, Popcorn, dancehall music and a whole has been getting a fight because there's very few dancehall artists that actually won a Grammy. So is one out of two things I am gonna suggest. That's, this is just my opinion, personally. Either them are gonna make a dancehall category for the Grammys or they are gonna include dancehall artists as a part of dancehall and reggae music then simple as that because we see where vibes cartel um tutanisha album and afghans and divas did pretty well tremendously well on the billboards you understand also alongside with popcorn because popcorn peaked on the reggae billboard at number two with his two um, album of the year, you understand? Because a pop kind of vibes cartel, you see, I do it work in a dance hall, them levels there. So, fixed tape peaked at number two, reggae billboard. Vanquish peaked at number two, reggae billboard. Same way, a vibes, cart vibes cartel of dance and divas peaked at number six on the reggae billboard. So, I mean, I me don't really understand why they must snub the artist, them. You understand? Because the man them put in the work and let me check for a minute and see exactly where Buju Bantan came on the reggae billboard because we know Buju did, did his thing but then we are going to check and see the exact spot so just give me a second so Buju Bantan upside down 2020 debuted at number two is in and sold in 2995 copies in first week you understand yeah so that's basically combined streams and sales so in my opinion yes Buju deserves his um, nomination for best reggae album but not to say that popcorn and vibes cartel are dancehall artists that does mean they shouldn't be nominated too because we saw where beanie man won a grammy we saw where shabarangs won grammy and they are dancehall artists so that's what i'm not getting but anyways we are going to read a comment made by popcorn and his ig so popcorn made a post on his ig the whalers one world, toots and the meters, got to be tough. Maxi Priest, it all comes back to love. You don't know, Skip Marley, higher place, Buju Bantan, upside down 2020. The caption wrote, Big up the nominees for this year's Grammy, salute. And then put up a bag of fist emoji. Record in Academy, and tag them. Differently though, Uno corruption levels high, no BB clad. We unstoppable though. Dance all music, we now stop until we uno accept we. So basically, vibe popcorn, I say, yeah, we know there are corruption, I do this thing, but we now stop, we now stop fight until we bust the Grammy gate and let in the dance all artists them. Not saying those artists that got nominated doesn't deserve their nomination, that's furthest from what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is, these people that are um, picking the nominees, for the the award basically they basically they should do a wider variety or they should create another um category for dancehall music in general then since they don't want to be they don't want to put them a part of the reggae system then zin dancehall is a genre by itself but a lot of international people get it twisted and still call it that reggae Zane, even though dancehall stands alone, even though it's is an offspring of dancehall um reggae music, sorry, it still stands alone. It's a more outlandish um version of reggae, if you might say so. Zane? but anyways, we see where popcorn big up a lot of the people who get nominated, and we know say oh dancehall artists them I get a fight from even local government, Zane? and one of the reasons why reggae is accepted by jamaicans quote-unquote jamaicans is when reggae went abroad when bob marley and all of them 
did their thing and reggae a mash up foreign then jamaicans or heads of government decided they wanted to be a part of this reggae because them see the impact reggae have on the international market in which dancehall is paving its way to have such impact or even a greater impact who knows but we see where that is being um snubbed at the moment we now see nobody to to uh, give dancehall the time of day like they are doing for reggae and mind sharp we lose reggae because we see where some people we never know a day of attack nothing about patwa the struggles the roots basically of reggae because reggae is just life and art you understand the heart depicting the life of the, the reggae singers basically that's where reggae started from and we see where some of these people them them don't know nothing about the struggles but what well, them just come up with um a concept of the beats and all that and called reggae in which that's not where reggae is from but anyways we see where them I tour the world and I make millions of reggae and the artists that are from the root of reggae then basically are being snubbed. We are doing hardcore, legitimate, they understand groundwork, reggae music. We see where them are get snubbed and them are get a fight. In but I saw you go still. But anyways, big up popcorn, big up all of the people and we get nominated, big up vibes cartel, same way. You don't know. But anyways, that's it. That's my reasoning. That's my two cents. You understand? So big up on yourself. Thanks for checking out another video. Yeah man, just hope you all like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel. You know. Keep subscribing. You understand? We know we're not being consistent and on a regular basis, but that soon sort out. You see it. We have work, so it's not like we're on YouTube on a daily basis or we have that much of a free time same way as it so just go and big up on yourself man and as me say just like comment share subscribe we keep on improving we still are doing research because we still have a, a new series for job same way understand so viewers and subscribers just big up on yourself man enough love and respect